Hey guys, you're probably here because you got pain on the inside of your knee while you're running or playing sports. And that's probably due to something called knee valgus, which is basically your knees uh, falling in, collapsing inwards. And what we're gonna do to test out if you have this knee valgus uh, problem is I want you to record yourself doing a squat. First, just do a uh, double leg bilateral squat and see if your knees are collapsing inwards. For some of you, they might collapse inwards slightly, but for some of you, that actually might be fine. That's a, you have a two-legged base, and your stabilizers don't have to work that hard, so you might be fine. But now I want you to record yourself doing a single-legged squat. And on this, I can guarantee that most of your knees are gonna start collapsing inwards a bit. And that is because your hip abductors and external rotators, basically the muscles, out here on the side of your butt are weak and not functioning properly and the muscles on the inner thighs are hyperactive hypertonic and they're pulling your knees in so we basically we want to relax these muscles and get these muscles on the outside of your hips stronger First things first, we're gonna decrease the neural tone of the adductors with some foam rolling, some self myofascial release. Make sure you're going really slow, pausing, taking your time so the muscles can actually relax. Next, we wanna further quote unquote, turn off the muscles by some corrective stretching. Uh, here are a couple stretches I'm doing here for the inner thighs. Uh, the butterfly is also a great stretch. Uh, there are many different stretches, just figure out what works for you and your body. Okay, now it's time to reactivate and reteach the nervous system how to utilize these muscles on the outside of your hip. But this isolating exercise is the clamshell, and this one is called the fire hydrant. Both of these are great, just take them slow and really focus on returning on those muscles on the outside of the hip. Okay, last step is reintegrating those muscles in the actual movement pattern. So practice the single leg squat again, except this time focus on pulling the knee out using those hip muscles we just activated. So now focus really on keeping that knee over your second toe. It's pretty helpful to have a coach or band kind of put a little resistance pushing your knee inwards and that actually cues the muscles to stabilize your hips better. Thank you guys for watching till the end. Comment any questions you have down below or you can direct message me on Instagram at Training.